I knew that the Alliance would flourish on Odessan, but I didn't expect this place to feel so much like home. You should be proud of what you've built here, and the allies you've gained. I couldn't have done it without you. Someone had to do all the hard work while you were off gallivanting. The Alliance is still a formidable power, but we're not strong enough to face the Republic or the Empire. Unfortunately, a confrontation is inevitable. There are skirmishes in wild space, riots on Quesh. Galactic war is imminent. We can no longer afford neutrality. If the Alliance is to survive, we must align ourselves with the Republic or the Empire. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your lead. You're right, Lana. Now's the time. So who do you wish to support? The Republic or the Empire? It's time I got back to the Republic. Understood. I'll assist however I can. I'll reach out to my contacts in the SIS. I expect they'll contact you directly. It really is lovely out here. It's been ages since I've watched a sunset. But we should get back. I've received over a dozen holocalls since we left. They can wait. I suppose I could stay out a little longer. Oh, I forgot to tell Baywan about the delayed fuel shipment. Lana. Right. Yes. Sunset now, work later. You'd love the Corellian Sector. Best Starshine surprise on Nar Shadda. First round is on me. You finally made it! Could you bring me another K3? Wait, make that... two. Well, if it isn't the commander of the most popular club in the galaxy. Welcome to my second favorite cantina. Jonas Balker, Republic, SIS. With a face like yours, it's no wonder half the galaxy signed up for the Alliance. Nice to meet you, Jonas. Pleasure's all mine. Really. I'm glad you came to see me. The Republic and the Alliance have similar goals, and I think this partnership will benefit us both. A war is coming, whether we like it or not. We need to be prepared, and that means keeping fuel, food supplies, and raw materials out of Imperial hands. But more importantly, we need you to help put a positive spin on the whole thing. Flash your winning smile. Inspire the troops. The usual. You can't win a war with promises and smiles. We don't need to win. Yet. Cut off their resources, demoralize them, and you'll prevent entire battles. We'll save millions. Sparks are flying on Osis, off in the Outer Rim. With a little help from you and the Alliance, the Republic could gain the upper hand. I'll make a few calls, set plans in motion. We should have more details once you're back on Odessin. Welcome back to the Republic, Commander. Commander, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Ardenando Dipolis de Rune. I oversee the Republic's deployments along the Parlimian Hyper Route. I only wish we were speaking in person. I just brewed a truly invigorating blend of Gatiland and tea. Do you enjoy tea, Commander? I do. I'm not sure I've tried that particular blend, though. I'll have a case sent to you. The flavor is unmatched. Though I'm told it can only truly be appreciated when shared. A beautiful planet, Catalenta. Its people are renowned for their long and steadfast support of the Jedi. 
It is the Jedi I wish to discuss with you today. I'm afraid I haven't been in contact with the Jedi Order in some time. You are not alone in that. Few Jedi survived the war against Sakul. They've gone into hiding, scattered across the galaxy. I'm not even sure how many council members remain. Satil Shan is still alive. Have you contacted her? I have, but it's been years since she led the Jedi. She couldn't help me. I did manage to learn of one surviving member of the Jedi Council. Master Nostaral. My sources tell me he's in hiding, on the planet Osus. The ancient home of the Jedi. All but destroyed by the Sith centuries ago. Indeed. I'm told that Master Nostaral took as many Jedi as possible, along with civilian volunteers, to establish a hidden colony on the planet. Unfortunately, the colony doesn't seem to be hidden any longer. I've tracked Imperial forces moving through the area. I believe the Jedi are in grave danger. Have the Jedi been warned? The Jedi colony is completely off the grid, and any warning I try to send will only lead the Sith directly to them. Osis is at the far end of the Parlemian hyperroute, practically the Empire's front door. I have no official authority to intervene. I'm gathering the resources to launch reinforcements regardless. But without authorization, it's taking time. Time the Jedi may not have. You aren't bound by Republic regulations. You can help faster than I can. Please, travel to Osis. Protect the Jedi until my forces can arrive. They need our help. I'll head for Osis right away, General. You can count on me. I'm very glad to hear it. I'll forward the coordinates for the Jedi settlement. There is one final catch. Initially, you must go with a light force. Perhaps even alone. Approaching with an attack group of any significance is sure to provoke a massive Imperial escalation long before I can respond in kind. The Empire won't know I'm there until it's too late. May the Force be with you, Commander. I hope to be sharing the next cup with you in person very soon. Likewise, General. The General is very shrewd. Going in alone is the best move here. I'll have a shuttle prepared, something small and stealthy. Wish I could go along. Nostaral is an old friend of mine. It'd be good to see him again. I don't like fighting without you by my side, Lana. Whoever the Empire sends, there'll be no match for you. We'll have you on your way to Osus as soon as possible. May the Force serve you well. really you. I sensed your presence, but I just couldn't believe... It's you. A uh, friend of yours, I take it? This is my old master, the Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. Now that you're here, everything is going to work out. This looks like an evacuation. So you know the Imperials are here? Yes. We don't know how many there are, but they have serious resources. If they're here, it's for a major fight, and we can't afford to give them one. Civilians and non-essentials are loading up first. 
Who calls a doctor non-essential when there's a fight brewing? You ask me, the Jedi have lost their minds. I'll speak with Master Nostaral. Do you know where I can find him? A guest looking for me. What a strange day this has been. I'll be with you in just a moment. Dr. Kimball, Nadia, how go the shuttle preparations? We'd be a lot further along if we hadn't borrowed so many of the shuttle's parts for the colony systems. It's going to be hours before we can launch. We should be calling the whole thing off. Don't you recognize a real bar... bar... barroom... barroom door, huh? When you see one? Bar Synthor. I command the Alliance now. We overthrew the Eternal Empire and destroyed the Sith Emperor, once and for all. I've come to help. <sighs> Sounds like a lot's happened since we cut our communications. Which helped to keep us hidden all this time. Nadia has told me much about you, Bar Synthor. And I look forward to updating my journals to include your new title and accomplishments. It's probably time you had a chapter all your own, but that will have to wait. The Sith are on our doorstep. I formed this colony to safeguard the Jedi and their teachings for the future. Now, we must abandon it to serve that same goal. Republic reinforcements are coming. We just have to hold out until they get here. We welcome any help they can offer, but until they arrive, our plan must remain the same. We have to get these shuttles ready as soon as possible. Do you have a new hiding place in mind? Somewhere further, more remote. I once read claims of a forgotten Jedi world deep within the unknown regions. Perhaps we'll seek it out. Perimeter alarms. They're coming again. I'm on my way to handle it. Hmm. Yes. Take backup this time. Backup? I got all the backup I need right here. Commander, this is Tau Adair, our head of security. Would you be willing to join her in holding off the enemy as we complete our preparations? Whatever's out there, we can handle it. Do what you need to do. We'll leave you to it then. Nadia, Dr. Kimball. Let's see how the farming crews are doing. But once we're through all of this, you owe me a lot of stories. What did your sensors pick up? Imperial soldiers? Sith? Neither. The imps are just toying with us. The old man's pretty sure they're being led by a Sith named Melora. Melora's into biology. Genetic manipulation, Sith alchemy, blah blah blah. She makes monsters. For us, she's cooked up some kind of mutated Geonosians. Hyper-aggressive, heavily armored, psychotic Geonosians. With weapons. Making their way toward the colony in swarms. That doesn't really sound like you're being toyed with. The mutants are brutal and tough in a fight, but they aren't strategic. If the imps were serious about it, they could destroy us faster without the storybook monsters. Osis is riddled with old, buried ruins. The mutants like to cut through them to approach unseen. We get out there and collapse a few tunnels, they'll be cut off and the colonists will have a lot more time to move. Then let's get to it. After you, Commander. Mechanized travel is for official business only.
force be with you. How long have you been living at the colony? Since the beginning? Almost five years now. Five years of peace and quiet. We had a good run. It took me nearly two of those years just to relax. I was sure someone would show up for me for blood. They always do. How many Jedi were left after the war with Sakul? We honestly aren't sure. After the Republic surrendered, the old man didn't want to risk getting an accurate count with names in case Sakul got a hold of it. So we all went to ground to watch, wait, and rebuild. Not my first choice, but I see the wisdom in it. Do you know where the rest of the Jedi are? There were still contingents on Tython and Ilum last we checked. Didn't bother calling the Green Jedi, they'd never leave Corellia. Most are probably hiding in groups, far off planets like we did. Or walking their own planets, following the horse. That was my plan. Who changed your mind? The old man. He's always understood me best. He convinced me that this was where I needed to be. I think he was right. That 
was too close. Take one more look around before we set off the charges. There's gotta be something here the old man would want. Judging by your technique, you must have done a lot of fighting before you came here. More than most, more than they ever trained us for. My first battle was Corellia. I flew in on a transport with five of the Jedi, one of the ones with the open sides, you know. The pilot took us in low between the buildings. We're in midair, and this Sith Lord, he just jumps right into the transport. Red lightsaber. In each hand. Five of my oldest friends were dead. Before they could even blink. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Everyone always is. The Sith had turned toward the pilot before my friends even hit the floor. I was behind him before he ever knew I was there. I nailed him with both hands. Hit the nerve clusters that run just over the ribs. Felt them crack. He dropped both lightsabers on reflex. I, I don't remember where the grenade came from. Must have been his. I smashed it right into his mouth and shoved him back out of the transport. You don't mess around, do you? That would be one of the things I learned about myself that day. Let's check in with the old man. Dal, what's your status? We've closed all the tunnels we could find. Sending coordinates now. Any chance you could backtrack to their source on some of the old maps? Of course. Let's see. Yes, here we are. They were all part of a residential structure that must have largely collapsed centuries ago. I'm sending coordinates for the structure's main entrance. If you can seal that, the mutants' hidden approaches will be cut off completely. Do you have the evacuation shuttles ready yet? They're close, and we have most of the essentials packed and ready. Keep up the good work on your end, and we'll have nothing to worry about. The entrance you're closing is located in an area our archaeologists never fully cataloged. If you find anything of interest, please do your best to recover it. Will do. Tau out. 
ready when you are. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes.
Were there any survivors after the supernova? I think there were. I'm pretty sure they're still here. The old man agrees, but most of the others aren't convinced. What makes you so sure? Every time, we've dug into the deeper chambers of the old ruins. Weird things have happened. Tools and lights going missing. We find footprints in the sand where nobody's walked. That kind of stuff. I can just feel that there's some kind of life here apart from us. Whoever it is, they're staying hidden. Probably the smart move. Enemy! May the force be. What was the plan? If the Sith had never shown up, what was the goal for the colony? Recover enough territory that we could grow crops and sustain more people. Then go find the people. I would have set out with a team to find other Jedi and bring them back here if they chose. We would rebuild the Order. Instead, looks like we're back to war. Sense more of them. A lot more. There must be an army of them below us. Enemy! Gah! Keep 
your distance when the warriors go down. They're putting off some kind of force. Weaker when we take down the warriors. Focus on the swarm. Looks like we're finished here. I can't get the old man on the hollow. We'd better head back and make sure nothing's happened. Our sensors are being jammed, along with our communications, both short and long range. Disruptions like this can mean only one thing. Invasion. The Empire will come in earnest now. This doesn't fit Melora's pattern. She never bothered to disable enemy communications during her siege of Nantun. Something very strange is happening. We have to move quickly. Many of our people are still outside the colony. Some at the farms, and the rest at the ancient library. We should split up. You don't need to act like we have a choice, old man. No way you're leaving this planet without seeing that library one more time. We can handle evacuating the farms, then meet you at the library afterward. Your people will get out of here safely, Master. I promise. The first shuttles will start launching while we gather the stragglers. They could send a distress signal once they escape the jamming zone. I'll get you General Dayrun's direct frequency. He's the best person to contact. I'm sure the Republic's just gonna sweep in and save the day. Even if they merely pick up our evacuation craft, it would be a huge help. I'll pass the information on. Thank you, Commander. Before you go, Tao, we need to finish our discussion about your Padawan. Now? Really? This feels like a good time. It is always a good time to learn, teach, and grow. We already had this discussion, which is why I don't have a Padawan. You don't want more Jedi like me. One is bad enough. You think that if so many good Jedi die and you survive, then you must not be a good Jedi. You think that the reason you've survived your skill in battle is the only skill you've mastered, so you must be a bad Jedi. But the only lesson you need to learn is that you are more than the killer you see in yourself. Teach, and you will see just how much more. None of us truly know what we've learned until we teach it to another. Uh, thanks, I'll think about it. All right, now can we get on with the task at hand? Very well. You check on the farms, I'll check on the library. And we'll meet afterward to select your Padawan. Damn it, old man. May the Force be with you.
Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Find Nadia and the others. You can't just leave. Not now. You have to. Take the others and get moving. I can handle a few Sith. I can vouch for that. Thank the Force. This is the Barsenthor, Zarios. The Empire's goons don't even stand a chance now. It's not about you. If the Imps land a single shot on D9 before he finishes, we'll lose everything. What do you mean? All of our data! We grew crops in a radioactive wasteland. What we've learned could increase crop yields all across the Republic. Imagine how many people we could feed. We'll handle it, Zarios. We need you to head to the shuttles and get everyone loaded up. The faster the better. D9 won't get a scratch. You can trust us. If you're wrong, if something happens... Imperials coming in fast! Get moving, Zarios! I won't say it again! All right, all right. Let's go.
Tau. Everyone okay? Good here. I'm glad we got Zarios and the others out of here. That got a bit exciting. D9, were you able to get the files? Get this back to the colony right away, Nadia. Make sure the Republic gets a copy. Of course. I'm never gonna let Zarios live this one down. Speaking of, I'd better catch up with him and the rest of the crews. Make sure they get back to the colony safely. It was good to fight by your side again. I'll meet you back at the shuttles. May the Force be with you, Nadia. I'll see you soon. We should hurry to the old library. If they sent a force like this just for some farms, there's no telling how many troops they sent there. Are you alright, Tao? Is there anything you want to talk about? These weren't a bunch of brainless monsters, not like the Geonosians. But fighting them, killing them... It didn't really feel all that different. We're fighting an enemy that wants to destroy everything we care about. It doesn't always feel good. But we can't let them win. I suppose you're right. Let's get moving. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Library. They're under attack. Hurry.
There must be something. 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 Somewhere. Where? Where? Drop your weapon. Now. Oh, such a mess. Always such a blasted mess with him. Where is Nostaral? What have you done to him? What? Oh, the Jedi. Over there somewhere. But you're rather too late to help him, I think. Wrong answer. This is your last chance, Sith. Surrender. Tiresome. Ignorant. Ugh. You speak to Darth Malora of the Dark Council. And your interruptions end now. Die and be silent, fools! There's something different about these mutants. Watch out! That Geonosian is healing the other somehow. Take it down! Enough! You will not win! You cannot win! Melora's barrier has failed! Now's our chance! <laughs> fools! Ignorant fools! He's alive. Barely, but he's alive. Truly? <laughs> Lord Malgus has lost his edge. Malgus? Oh, yes. This is all his handiwork. I would never make such a mess of a library, even one belonging to a Jedi. Malgus usurped my entire operation. A veritable ballet of predatory evolution, discarded in favor of the bludgeoning fist of a toddler. That's impossible. Malgus is dead. I was there. Apparently, you should have been more thorough. Malgus is alive, here on this planet. Though operational might be more accurate. A machine with pieces of a desiccated Sith Lord bolted into it hardly deserves to be called alive. Life is far more variable, more adaptable, capable of true change and thus true power. The Force is life. And only life can truly command its depth. Will you shut up? Malgus or not, we have to get the old man back to the colony now. We'll find a way to move him safely and head straight for the colony. The dig team used hover sleds when they were working in here. We'll find one and use that to carry him. You realize Malgus is on his way to burn your colony to the ground, yes? He could hardly say he finished my work if he leaves it standing. Now. 30 seconds to objective, my lord. Enemy fighters, evade! Those are Republic fighters. They made it. They actually made it! Good afternoon, Commander. Before you ask, rest assured. I brought tea. You have great timing, General. We can't thank you enough. I only wish we could have been here sooner. Can you bring medics to our position? We have urgently wounded people here. Right away. We'll evacuate everyone to the colony. Medical and support teams are landing as we speak. They run out. I'll just be going, then. I don't remember saying you could leave.
Taking me prisoner will waste time and personnel that you'll need to treat the wounded, like your friend here. I'm sure I'm not worth the effort. I think a prisoner like you could tell us a lot of interesting things about Malgus and the Empire's plans. Ah, <sighs> tiresome. Thanks to the distress calls, we were able to sweep in and pick up all of the evacuation shuttles before the Empire could deploy pickup teams of their own. That's a huge relief. We can never thank you enough, General. All too happy to help. All evacuees will be transported to safety in Republic space. I know of some settlements on Tanab that could put good farmers to use, if any are interested. Are you going to keep enough troops here to fight off any Imperial reinforcements? We'll establish a forward listening post here, secure the colony perimeter, but I can't spare more than that. We're too close to Imperial lines to risk a full garrison. Speaking of farms, I have already forwarded your data to a friend of mine, an outstanding Chatej player from the Agriculture Administration. They tell me the information from your farms is likely to revolutionize our entire logistical structure. Countless millions may be fed thanks to your efforts. I'm glad I could help. Any chance your fighters got Malgus in the attack? It's possible, but seems a bit too much to hope for. Darth Malgus back on the front lines. This is a dark day for the Republic. We caught him off guard this time. I doubt we'll be so lucky again. I still don't see how it's possible. Malgus died. This has to be some kind of trick. I didn't sense any deception in Melora, and a few of the imps we captured confirmed her story. However he managed it, Malgus is alive. Is he alright? Did he make it? Nostral's wounds were severe. Cauterized perforation of the upper ventricle, ocular damage from oxygen exposure, catastrophic muscular and nerve damage to the left forearm. Fortunately, he received treatment from the most brilliant, skilled, and <clears throat> handsome doctor in the entire galaxy, so he's gonna pull through. That's great to hear. Good work, Doc. Anyone else need patching up? <laughs> I'm on a roll. Thank you, Doc. I mean it. That's what I do. The soldiers are still digging through some of the worst of the damage to the library. Torrell, Reina, and Z are still missing, and I can't sense them. That makes 15. I'll update again when we finish clearing the rubble. The old man was right to bring us here. We needed this time to heal. And to remember what makes us Jedi. We've hidden long enough. The evil of the Sith doesn't stop just because we aren't there to oppose them. Quite the opposite. I'm no master, and I can't speak for the Order, but I can say this. The Republic needs the help of the Jedi. So let me be the first to volunteer. I am deeply honored to accept. I'll have quarters prepared for any Jedi who wish to join you aboard my flagship. We're already packed, and I think this will end up being a much more worthy destination. Commander, thank you. Without you, this would have been a much darker day for us all. I'm glad I could be here, Tao. Reuniting with the Jedi has been long overdue. With you around, I think it's safe to say the future of the Jedi is a bright one. May the Force be with you. When the dawn came, the Zell awakened and saw the tongs upon the high place and were afraid. For the morning light caught the glint of helms and weapons and created phantom warriors made of dazzle and distance. But the cleverest of them were not deceived. The Empire thought they could make this a grand first strike in their renewed war against us. They hoped to destroy the Jedi, to destroy us with fear before we ever faced them in open battle. Thanks to you, they failed. 
The Jedi are renewed allies of the Republic. Our people have seen that the Sith are vulnerable whenever we stand united. This war will be dark and brutal and vicious. But we will stand against that darkness together. Together, we will win. I'll leave the two of you to catch up. This place is amazing! I can't believe you built all of this! And the people! Incredible! I mean, that lady was a Sith, right? More or less. And you worked together, saving the whole galaxy! Wow! You really missed a lot of Gnosis. I wish you could have been a part of it all. It's an honor seeing the Jedi you've grown to be. Well, I had a great teacher to try to live up to. I wish the rest of the galaxy were following your Alliance's example. Finding ways to work together for a greater good. Even if we manage to defeat the Sith, what happens then? How do we deal with them afterward? We have to find ways to coexist, to meet on common ground like Father always taught. If we must go back to war, then I want to be with people who represent the kind of future we're fighting for. I want to join your alliance. Welcome to the team. If you need anything, start with Sana Rey. She heads our enclave for Force users. I met her earlier. Such an interesting woman. I am so excited to be a part of this. I don't exactly have a lot of luggage, but I'll go get my things and settle in. As soon as you need me for a mission, just let me know. <laughs> we'll take on the whole galaxy together, just like old times. I want to be more than your teacher or your partner, Nadia. <laughs> you... you mean it? <laughs> I, I always sense something more. More than the bond of a master and Padawan. More than a connection through the Force. I, I sensed it, but but you never... You know, so, so I never... Even though, you know, I wanted to, but... <sighs> it all seems a bit silly now, doesn't it? We've lost so much time. But we don't have to lose any more. We should talk. With your previous relationship renewed, it would seem that ours has run its course. Let's not belabor the situation with arguments or excuses. Agreed? I owe you an apology, whether you want one or not. You've been so supportive. You deserve better. Deserve is a crutch for the weak. I take happiness where I can find it. I can't blame you for doing the same. I wish you the best. All right. Looks like we've got just about everyone. How are we doing? Internal security remains solid. I've caught three Imperial spies since Osus. Two attempted to enlist, and the other presented herself as a merchant seeking new trade relations. Unfortunately, they fled before they could be caught and interrogated about their specific objectives. It's good to know we're still so popular. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. My assets have brought in solid intel from all of the major battles along the front lines. I'll keep forwarding everything to Baywan for analysis. My people are using that intel to create new write-ups for the major field commanders on both sides should help us predict strategic probabilities going forward. Until we get a specific request for aid, I've deployed our fleet in a defensive posture around Odessa. Getting Paxton ships in the mix has helped expand our patrols. I never know exactly where they're going to patrol, but they're doing solid work for us. Speaking of ships, one of our frigates went AWOL. The crew is ex-Imperial, so we're pretty sure they're heading back home. I can't blame them for not sticking around to fight their old allies, but that ship wasn't theirs to take. How should I deal with them? Track them down, but stick with your eye on cannons. I only want the ship back. The crew members are free to go where they like. Understood. 
Once our people have retaken the frigate, they'll drop the crew off at the closest neutral port. Nothing so dramatic occurring in our science lab. Improvements to Odessa's planetary shields have been successfully completed. All right. Hilo? We've had to step up security for my crews. Piracy is becoming a bigger problem on their runs. Lucky for us, you're friends with Mandalore. Now that word spread that her people are riding along, nobody messes with our transports. Good to hear. Anything else? Me and the crew have been running one of the old Thranta Corvettes. We're patrolling the route between here and Sakul. It's bad over there. Some of the city spires have closed themselves off completely. Others are actually taking shots at each other. And those gangsters from the Exchange? They're moving in all over the place. Nearly half the provisional government is tied to them somehow. I know they want to go their own way. But Sakul is my home. It's home for a lot of our people. I think we should try to help. How do you think we could help them? The most important thing is to get the Exchange out of there. The Knights are practically non-existent now. There's no law. I know it's not our place to go after them on Zakul, so let's go after them before they get there. Give me three extra ships, and we'll intercept any Exchange members we find headed for Zakul. Without any muscle or bribes to back them up, they'll crumble. Sounds like a good plan. The ships are yours, Koth. Thank you. Gonna enjoy taking those scumbags down. Sana Ray is touring the reconstruction efforts on Voss, so I believe we're finished. I'd like to say a few words before we end the meeting. Yes, Commander. I want to thank you all for standing by me. We have survived so much, overcome so much. That was only possible because of all of you. The galaxy is as chaotic as ever, but if we stand by one another, we'll find our way through. You can count on us. There was one final matter for you. We received a message from Alec Raynan, a reporter for a Republic news network. He'd like to speak when you have a moment. I've loaded his frequency into your holocom. Thought we could use a moment alone. I have to say, it feels good to work with the Republic again. We spent so many years dealing with Suresh and people like her, it's easy to lose faith. To forget what we all signed up for in the first place. The Republic might finally be ready to live up to its own standards. I'm glad to be a part of it. The Republic has always been my home. It feels good to be back after so long. Plus, Coruscant has way better restaurants than Droman Koss. I'm glad we could talk. I'll catch you later. Commander, what a pleasure. Alec Rain, Republic News Network. Your little comeback is everybody talking. Would you uh, like to join the conversation? What do you have in mind, exactly? Oh, nothing too formal. You, me, and a friendly conversation about the Alliance and the Republic. I think it would boost morale for people to hear about how you're going to win this nasty old war for us. How about it? I need to know more about the questions you plan to ask. Really basic stuff. Uh, where you come from, how you save the galaxy, how you'll save the Republic. Totally boilerplate, I promise. We film in a studio on Carrick Station. Meet me there when you're ready. Jonas, did you set up this interview request? Of course not, but I'll pull some strings. I'll make sure you get a nice big audience. This is a great chance to inspire the people of the Republic. Don't forget to dress sharp. Uh, Commander, welcome. Follow me and we'll get started. Our studio is just this way. Welcome back to Republic News. I'm your host, Alec Raynan. Our guest tonight has led a rather illustrious career as an esteemed member of the Jedi Order. But nowadays, you're simply known as the Commander, leader of the alliance that overthrew the Zakulian Empire, a hero to the entire galaxy. How does it feel to return to the Republic? It feels great, Alec. I'm excited to move forward and bring the alliance closer to the Republic. 
Glad to hear it. Some people in your position might have felt uh, abandoned given the Republic's treaty with Sakul precluded any official support for the Alliance. And despite those difficult circumstances, you remained loyal. You supported the Republic's efforts on Iokath, for example. Why is that? I could never abandon the Republic. I had to help them, no matter the risk. As you've proven since then. At the request of Republic personnel, you defended the Jedi colony on Osis when it came under Imperial attack. It was during that attack that we learned of the survival of Darth Malgus, possibly the Empire's most feared battle commander. How did his reappearance make you feel? Malgus is dangerous, but we've beaten him before. We can do it again. Your confidence is reassuring. I'm afraid we're just about out of time, so let's get to the heart of things. The war against the Sith Empire. Can we win? With the Alliance joining forces with the Republic, the Empire doesn't stand a chance. I like the sound of that. Any final comments before we wrap up? The Republic is a place where all the peoples of the galaxy come together to create something greater than ourselves. If we're going to win, We'll do it by working together to bring out the best in everyone. Inspiring words indeed. Thank you so much to our special guest. I'm Alec Rainin. Good night, and stay strong. Transmission complete. Great show. We'll have to bring you back again soon. Great work, Commander. You looked good. You sounded even better.